Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about something that's been so heavily debated on my timeline and that once more I could not escape from it. So here we fucking go again, I suppose. It's kind of funny because there are obviously two prevailing opinions as usual. There's a little bit of a binary. There are these two TikToks that are going around. One of them is about a girl who has a friend who is being real weird around her boyfriend and I'll show you these TikToks. And then the other one is the girl who was being weird around the boyfriend responding. So we're gonna watch those and talk about those because I do think that pop culturally and society Societally speaking, this is very interesting because I know that we have multiple quote unquote cultures in terms of dating culture. We have the dating to marry culture. We have hookup culture. We have situationships. We have friends with benefits. We have all these like fucking shit shows that honestly scare the hell out of me. <laughs> Truly, madly, deeply. Anytime I see things like this, I'm just like, man, I'm never leaving my house again. Let's just look at these TikToks and discuss them because most people online have rather polarizing opinions as in there is no middle ground as far as I've seen. Now, obviously on Twitter, you know, there is no middle ground. There's barely any logic to be honest, but it's kind of crazy because people are kind of taking camp on side A or side B of this whole thing, which we'll get into it things that this girl that claimed to be a girl's girl has done to me for context i've never ever in my life had to cut out a person cold turkey and i've never had to go through a friendship breakup because genuinely i feel like i only open up to the people that deserve my time and i end up loving them for a lifetime hopefully but this girl was just an exception i am going to try my best to talk through all of this without freaking raging the first one is not that bad, I guess, compared to the other things that she's done. But the day that she met my boyfriend or like a couple days into it, she added him to her close friend story and just started posting the random TMIs on her stories, like a attention trap, not even a thirst trap. It's like attention trap. And this was before my boyfriend and I started dating, but like everyone knew that we were into each other. This one kind of goes with the first one. She borrowed my boyfriend's hoodie when we were all over at his house because she was cold. And then she took the hoodie home, which is fine, girl. Like be warm, stay warm, don't get cold. But she continues to wear that hoodie for the next two weeks and posts all about it on social media. A picture of her in his hoodie which is again, I can let it pass, whatever. Starts to randomly show her love for the brand that my boyfriend likes. Never heard this girl brag about how much she likes this brand before, never, until she met my boyfriend. Spending hours getting ready to see him, calling up my other friend and telling her that she thinks he's cute and that she could see herself getting along with him while we were already dating. Getting him the sandwich that he mentioned he likes and then volunteering to wake up early so that she can hand the sandwich to him so that he can take it to work. I'm kind of surprised right now because now that I'm talking about this, months after it actually happened, I find this hilarious. I'm not even raging anymore. I just think it's kind of funny how hard this girl is trying. Honestly, I don't blame you, girl. My boyfriend is cute. Just hope you can find a new man to buy sandwiches for every morning. Goodbye, and I wish you the best. All right, I'm gonna show you the other girl's side. I do wanna comment based on what this girl said. If we just hear this side. So first of all, this is weirdo behavior in my opinion. If you are friends with someone, if you're girlfriends with someone, specifically in this case, you have no real business getting quote unquote close with the person they're interested with until like, well, ever really too close, obviously, but it's also like, you know, if you're, girlfriend has a boyfriend and they're solid or whatever, of course you wanna to get to know him, that's normal. But it's like, if they're at the beginning stages, if they're talking, if they've just started dating, there's really no reason for you to be speaking to this person, to be speaking about this person, unless it's with her. So I already feel like that is a weird thing. But again, this is all based on my own boundaries 
and my own behaviors. If my best friend is interested in a guy, I'll let her tell me about him. And until further notice, there's no contact between me and that guy, because what is the reason? Like there's literally no reason for me to have contact with this person, let alone taking their hoodie. That we're done. <laughs> like for me, that was, I know that's being dramatic, but for me, the hoodie thing, mm -mm, no, absolutely the fuck not. We all, all, okay, come on. As, as, as a society, collectively, we know the meaning of wearing other people's clothes. Like for me anyway, I would never wear the clothes of someone I barely know, or worse, someone who I know my friend is interested in because it's a personal thing to do. That's why you typically borrow clothes from your family or your best friend. You don't borrow clothes from someone that you kind of know-ish. No. And especially the hoodie, taking pictures in it is also a really weird thing to do because it feels a little bit like the dog marking its territory. Like, hey, not only did I take your boyfriend's hoodie, not only am I wearing it, I'm wearing it and posting it as if to say something, right? Because if I randomly today were to post a picture wearing a guy's shirt, which is hilarious because all my shirt are men's shirts, but you know what I mean? A shirt that is clearly owned by a man that is making a statement about my relationship with that man. I wouldn't do that with just one of my guy friends. I wouldn't wear one of his shirts and then take a picture in it. If I'm wearing one of his shirts, it means there's a more intense level of intimacy, I guess. And again, all of this is based on me and how I read things. I'm apparently cold as fuck, like, so maybe, you know, other people read things differently, but maybe because I'm cold as fuck, small things like that to me are not typical. Like, I just won't wear anyone's hoodie. I won't borrow anyone's jacket, like, it's, it's intimacy for me to like wear someone's clothes. So already the hoodie thing, not giving back the hoodie. A lot of people on Twitter were giving her the benefit of the doubt on the hoodie thing. And I'm like, what is the real valid reason that you need to steal the hoodie of the guy your friend is interested in slash dating and wear it for two weeks and not give it back? Like, what is the reason? Moving on from that, the sandwich thing, I mean, I thought that could be innocuous, but again, it's like, why are you going so far out of your way for someone who, first of all, your friend is interested in, but second of all, it's like, even if this was the longtime boyfriend of a friend, it would be weird to be like, hey, I know you like this sandwich, let me wake up early to go pick it up for you and then hand it to you. But let us hear the other girl's side. Let me just clear up some misconceptions that people are having online about me. So I don't know if you saw the video yet, but there is a video about a girl talking about why she ghosted a friend and the reasons behind that. And I am that friend that's been ghosted. And it's just so baffling to me that I had to find out this way when I have reached out so many times, desperately asking you what was wrong. The points that were made in this video, three points that I remember, Close friends, let's start with that. She's saying that I was trying to get at her boyfriend, whatever, because I added her, him on my close friends. First of all, close friends don't mean a lot to me. And it was not only him that I added, it was everyone that I met that night. We met at a club together on my birthday and she whispered to me thinking that there was a guy over there that she thought was cute. As her best friend, I'm gonna play Cupid. I went to him and I was like, hey, my friend thinks you're cute. You guys should chat it up. They chatted it up. Ended up going well, so we went back to his apartment with him and his friends and me and my friends. So we all kind of became like just comfortable with each other. And obviously, if I'm comfortable with you, I'm just going to add you to my close friends. It's really not a big deal. The attention traps, I don't know what she was referring to because if it was attention traps, like why would she also be on the close friends? If I just wanted that to be an attention trap, I would only add... Guys, I'm trying to get out. I don't know, but I post thirst trap on my public story so that everyone can see that um, the hoodie i'm just notorious for not giving back hoodies and i am sorry i just took longer to give this one back because it was really cute it's not because it's, it was his hoodie and like i wanted to keep it longer and like i just wanted to feel cozy up in his hoodie it was literally because it was cute 
Oh yeah, I would forgotten about the close friends thing. I cannot judge any of that because I don't really understand, I mean, I understand the point, but I don't understand the social implications with today's dating world and the close friends thing on Instagram. So I'm really just not gonna comment on all of that. Though it's also weird, I think, to add people to your close friends who you just met that night because like it's close friends for a reason. But again, that's about your own social media usage and your own social media usage perception and social media usage, quote unquote, assigned meaning. So the close friends thing to me is weird, but then again, you know, I don't post that much on my story, so I don't know if that's the thing that people really do or not. In this particular case, it definitely does not look good. And this is more than just about the guy. It's like, it doesn't, like, why would you add people to your close friends who you just met? I don't understand the point of that. That doesn't logically make sense to me. But again, I don't really think that is the biggest of deals. Okay, the thing about not giving back the hoodie simply because it's cute. Girl, truly. <laughs> this I think is probably the most insulting part of this story. Like who, who do you think you're kidding with that one? You steal the hoodie of a guy your friend likes slash is dating and you don't give it back, not for any big reason. No one should read into it other than the fact that you think it's cute. So it could have been anyone's hoodie, including, you know, having your own personal items, but it, it's his hoodie, what a coincidence. And you took longer to give it back to him because you thought it was so cute. This to me is simply like the dumbest part of the entire story and the hardest for me to believe because it's like, okay, let's be real. You, you might steal a hoodie for a day because you think it's cute and I'll believe that that's why you stole it if I give you all the benefits of the doubt but that you keep it for like a crazy amount of time and that you post pictures in it, knowing full well that your friend likes this person is dating this person. This is the thing that I don't understand about all of this story. And I don't know if I've been outside of the dating game for so long that I just don't understand things anymore. I mean, it has been 10 years, but I don't understand under what context I would ever steal the hoodie of the guy my friend likes. In no context can I understand that. We could be getting a fucking frostbite and probably still then I'd be like, you know what, it would be weird if I wore his hoodie. So I don't know. I also do tend to think this is very high school because this does remind me of high school. You know, when you wear a guy's hoodie, it's because you guys like each other, blah, blah, blah. So there is an element of that, but I do think there is a bigger picture here because it is about the boundaries. A lot of these boundaries, mind you, I think are very obvious. If you are familiar with just general etiquette, honestly, but even just society at large today, if you are familiar with how dating works, especially if it's monogamous dating or monogamous situationships, whatever the hell it is, you know that basically if your friend likes someone, you obviously should be a bitch to that person, but there's really no reason for you to be very much around that person, to be touchy with that person. Like all of these things are boundaries that I'm just like, what is hard to understand here? And it's also like, how do you never feel guilty or weird about any of this? I don't know, it makes no sense to me. Like I said, I've been out of this whole sphere, so maybe I, well, I obviously missed multiple chapters because none of this would fly with me. Then again, it also depends on your personality type because for example, I'm possessive, not crazy possessive, but not the type of person who's just like, okay with random girls taking the boyfriend's sweater or whatever the hell the case is like that. No. So this is a personality type thing. But again, we return to the fact that this seems like a typical monogamous quote unquote, I say monogamous quote unquote, because at the beginning, at the talking stages, whatever, I don't know if you can call it fully monogamous if you're not committed, but all of this very weird behavior. The sandwich is like the most iconic part of this story. Um, you and I both know, babes, that, that sandwich was an expression of my gratitude for mounting my TV. Oh, and at this time, like we were living together too, me and this girl, we were living together, we were roommates. Um, so they were together, we were, us three were together in my room mounting the TV and like making jokes and making fun. And then like, I, I really wanted my TV mounted and he did it. So I was like, oh my God, like 
I'm so thankful. Let me show my gratitude in some way other than just being like, thank you. So I picked up a sandwich um, after work at a bakery that's right next to my work. And I put it in the fridge and I was like, okay, perfect. We have a sandwich secured for you. Come pick it up before work tomorrow so you can eat it before it spoils. Because why the fuck would I get you a sandwich and have it spoil, you know? She came with him to pick it up. I handed her the sandwich. If I really cared about like me getting him the sandwich because it was like for him, I would have wanted to hand it to him, but I didn't care. It was just a form of expression. I would have done this for anyone else. It doesn't matter that it was him. Left the friendship with the other girl together and villainized me. And now one year later, you come on TikTok to talk about it is so low. And why am I blocked? I literally saw the video, I commented, and I said, let's not leave out details. Why'd you delete the comment? I'm, I'm sick of staying quiet. I'm sick of having to hear from other people. I heard this about you from her. We respected that you had your own perspective on things, but now that I know this is the reason, I'm so glad that you're not in my life anymore. So the whole sandwich thing, honestly, I don't think is that interesting. Like, okay, she got him a sandwich, whatever. Um, it's more the question of delivering things, you know, like finding excuses to show up at someone's house. That would be a conversation to be had. I think the first girl probably, like the sandwich thing, added up because of everything else. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like the sandwich thing alone, okay, whatever, but it's because there are all these things, there's the sandwich thing and it's like, okay, this is this is now too much. The most damning thing of all of this, I do think is the second girl telling her friends that the guy is cute and she could see herself getting along with him. Again, that alone would already be weird, but add the hoodie thing to that, add the, the whole sandwich thing to that. So I fall on the first girl's side, tendentially speaking. Now I'm not die hard on either, so don't come for me. There's something about the second girl's behavior that I think most women recognize and it's, first of all, it's not being a girl's girl doing all that. Second of all, I think we all recognize the behavior of, oh, I didn't mean anything by that. And I mean, even if you're a guy, I'm sure that this happens with men, like amongst men of like, oh, I didn't mean anything by that. That didn't mean anything. Oh, it was just this. It's like the gaslighting really. I think that's the part that is the most heinous because if she addressed, oh yeah, I was flirting with him. Oh yeah, I fucked up all of that. It still wouldn't be okay, mind you but at least there would be that. But the absolute dead set denial of everything being weird is what is crazy to me. I think the biggest part of this is that, you know, people in the comments were saying, oh, why didn't they just talk to each other? And I think that the takeaway for me was that if you see how girl two communicates, there's no talking to people like that. And I know that that sounds final and not positive and not constructive, but there are some people who will not address the problem in the room and will not take responsibility for the problem they caused no matter what. So you are wasting your breath even trying. That's the impression I got with girl two. Now, obviously girl one could also be very possessive. She also could be very jealous. So I'm not saying that she's right about everything. I just tendentially fall on that side. This being said, it's been crazy to me to see how this has been brought to like the public domain as if it's like a reality TV show. But more than anything, I think it's showing how there's this, obviously everyone has a different opinion about dating, what's appropriate, what's not, what's dating, what's a situationship, of course. But it feels like here there's this major gap divide of where the line is crossed between what you can and can't do with your friend's boyfriend, person of person of interest, <laughs> that sounds criminal, no, uh, person that they're interested in. I think that's the craziest part of all of this because we see divides all the time, but for the most part, for things regarding infidelity and stuff like that, I tendentially see a general level of agreement. And even if it's not agreement, people can say, I can understand why someone would see this as cheating, right? 
so there's a concession made. But here, I've really seen two different sides where there are some people who really insist on the fact that they think that the second girl is just kind of like a tomboy and she's used to being around guys all the time. And so like, because of that, hold on, let me do the mental gymnastics. Because she's a tomboy and used to being around the guys, using the guy's hoodie, not giving it back, and apparently, allegedly, taking a picture in a thong with the hoodie, but anyway. That to her is normal because most of her friends are guys, and so it's not a big deal if she does that. And therefore, girl one is completely overanalyzing the situation, whereas girl two is just a tomboy and doesn't understand girl one's perspective. I think that's the mental gymnastics for girl two, if that's the side you wanna take. Regardless, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Whose side are you on? Let's remember, it's not that deep. I've seen people on Twitter getting a little bit crazy about this, so let's not do that here, please, for the love of God. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.